So yesterday was a pretty exciting day. Was it? Yeah, we went to the <laughs> bus station. What did we do? We got our tickets and now we're heading to the bus station. We got our tickets to Delat. Yes. And we are now headed to the bus station and we're in the grab right now. We're chilling out, we're drinking coffee. My girlfriend's laughing at all my jokes. Just because I'm happy. <laughs> and partially because you're funny. Yeah. Just partially. But mainly because I'm happy. <laughs> We've just been working and just like not traveling, doing some fun trips every now and then, but not like really traveling in a long time. So I'm really excited. Yeah, we're going to Dalat and to Natrang. But it's supposed to rain in Dalat as soon as we get there, so we'll see. All right, so me and Miriam are at the bus station. You got our tickets? Yes. We literally have like everything we own. <laughs> All right, our bus got canceled actually. However, we are at a big bus station, so plenty of other buses to take. And we're actually That's a sign. <laughs> Yeah, we're actually going to take a bus just to straight to Natrang. But it might cost us double the price, 440 per ticket, which is 20 bucks a ticket, but we get to be in a luxury cabin sleeper bus. So Miriam thought they were gonna be really small, but this is what we got for the luxury, luxury cabins. So a $20 bus ticket. You can move your seat around, get a little cabin. Little TV. Is there Wi Fi? Yes. Wi Fi? Yes, the password is. <laughs> yeah, we got Wi Fi and uh... <clears throat> a little hostel rooms. Cool. Nice. I'll sit here. Thank you. Yes, come on. Come on, thank you so much. This is awesome. We got we a got little TV. A little bathroom Wait, somewhere. Look at the TV. Is this a bathroom? Oh, cool. Wow. Yeah. Just got a little toilet back here. Babe, look at this. That. I don't know what the heck this is, but Miriam likes it. It's like a, a very cheap Rolls Royce ceiling. Cool, cool, cool. What you think? I'm excited. This is going to be a long bus ride, but in these little cabins, it's going to be way easier. Yeah. So we left at 7, we've been driving and driving, it's now 12, we just stopped to get a little grub or a snack. Should we order a grub? Yeah, we definitely should order a grub. <laughs> yeah, so it's 6 in the morning. Just made it to our train, our hotel is uh, 12 minutes away. I'm gonna go there, get some real food. Happy Lunar New Year! Yeah, he's gonna have the summer, he said. Ah, maybe. <laughs> he just speaks a little English. Or should we get a car? How was your sleep? It was scary, it was like, don't get too close. I almost fell off the bed, like from the sides. I almost fell off. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pretty intense driver at times, yeah. Hello. out in the train going to get a motorbike rental and one of the top things to do in the train for me personally would definitely be to enjoy some patty scuba diving however it is Tet holiday I am 
they are closed. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing any, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any scuba diving. Maybe we'll be able to rent some snorkel mask and me and Mary will get to do some of that. It's 8.43, me and Mary are about to go get some breakfast, but first we've come to Moto for free. We're getting, for 180K, a uh, fully automatic. 155 cc's. place in that train called Bamboo, or Bamboo Garden or something like that. It's supposed to have vegan options. Pretty cool, kind of makes you feel like you're at a waterfall. So me and Miriam have just stumbled into the Museum of Oceanography. It's 40k each. Let's check it out. It's not alive, but this is for sure the biggest like specimen I have ever been by. Wow. It's a whale skeleton that was found back in 1994 by some farmers. Yeah, there's just endless like anim like sea creatures in a in a jar or in a tub. It's actually pretty weird. It is super weird actually. It's like being in a library of like dead sea critters. These are all all snakes, this whole like section. So right behind me right now is the cable car to Vin Pearl. I just met a dude from the United States. He's been living here in that trunk for four years and he said he's been to Disneyland and Vin Pearl is way cooler than Disneyland. 
you can pay 880k so about 40 bucks to get on the cable car and have your tickets and entry to Vinpearl over on that island or you could get a ferry which is probably a little bit cheaper but you don't get to take the cable car over the ocean I think we're only gonna spend a day or two here and we've had a lot of water park theme park stuff so we're gonna we're gonna pass on Vin Pearl this time. Chilling out, just got back from the beach. Going through this little clothing tap market. Yeah, again, when you're traveling, you shouldn't bring anything because you're always going to buy stuff. I shouldn't have brought many clothes. I just got myself a gray, gray tee, 60,000 dong tank top. It's like two dollars and eighty cents for a nice like Adidas tank top. Just for a frame of reference, 23K, 23,000 is one US dollar. So as we can see, most of this stuff is a dollar or 50 cents. She's, she's saying no to this is. guy. She's saying no to this. Hey, we already have three. This guy's super weird. He's really weird. <laughs> so we're here at the Po Nagar Cam Temple built by the Cam people in the 8th and 11th century before now the descendants are the Vietnamese people had come in and moved them away. They have a lot of similar structure, architecture to Thailand and Cambodia.
holiday in Vietnam right now so they all have they have us in chow they have all these beautiful gorgeous set decorations This is the place that me and Miriam found for 210k a night. You can cook some food over here. We got like a little apartment. Little apartment for about nine, $9.50. This is Miriam. Pretty chill location. Pretty chill stay, comfy beds, nice and cheap. to Boha Waterfalls, enjoying some of these beautiful views behind us here and driving through these mountains.
Well, it's Tet, so Baho Waterfall is it's a no-go. Yeah, for two days he said it's gonna be closed for two days. Yeah, but we're probably leaving tomorrow, so. No waterfall for us, maybe in Dalat. Yeah, sure in Dalat we'll find some. Just arrived at the Long San Pagoda. What does it smell like, Marion? Peacefulness and peace. That smells wonderful here. We're walking and um, all you can smell is just incense everywhere. Ah. Like this is to honor some of the ancestors. It's like maybe each ancestor maybe has their own slot. Miriam said there's free incense, there's nobody in there. <laughs> it's true. Because these are all people. Ashes of Maybe, yeah, maybe ashes of people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I've never seen anything like this, honestly, I mean. But there are ashes behind these, and that's quite interesting. I mean, this itself is still quite interesting. There's still a lot of empty slots. It's like a big library of people. Wow, that's a big, that's a big Buddha. That's a big Buddha. <laughs> Tomorrow is the official day of Tet Holiday. New Year! Of the Lunar New Year. And yeah, so everything's pretty much closed, but we're walking around one of the parks at night. Miriam, Miriam got this balloon, dude. She's our new friend. Oh yeah. Yeah, lots of fun going on around here.
Lunar New Year! Me and Miriam are chilling out at this beautiful restaurant in Nha Trang still. We've been here for, this is our third day here. And we're looking for a bus ticket. We were gonna drive some bikes back today, but they ended up being too expensive. So we're gonna go to the bus station and hopefully get a bus to Dilat today. And yeah, check out what's going on in the lot. It's a pet holiday today. is February 12th and me and Miriam are leaving Nha Trang on the day of Tet about 12.30 getting on the bus at 1 to head over to Dalat they say it's gonna be really cold really cold but no it's supposed to be really romantic so we're gonna go over there and check it out yeah. all right we're all packed up. We're heading out. All right, see you.